It's finally here, friends. It's time for the first ever fandom face-off. You've heard me talk about it the past the past five weeks. We've been casting. I have two amazing fan representatives for Stray Kids and for T by T, plus a special guest judge I'm about to introduce you to. So, Moa versus Stay, we're here. I want to introduce first the Stay representative. Kyoko from Germany is here. Thank you for joining us. Hi, thank you for having me. For Moa, we have Alyssa based here in LA. Hi, Alyssa. Hello. Thank you for having me. Thank you both for being here. And now I want to introduce our special guest judge. Like I said to all of you, it's important for me to bring on someone who's maybe not familiar with K-pop, who isn't part of this world. It's why I'm not judging Fandom Face Off, because of course I'd be partial. I'm the biggest fan. So our special guest judge tonight is a man named Lamar Woods. Lamar is one of my close friends. But on top of that, he's a super talented comedian, actor, writer. He's written for a lot of sitcoms you probably watched. He's also a podcaster. So he's in this world with me. And his podcast is called XOXO Gossip Kings. Right, Lamar? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, if you guys watch Gossip Girl, you have to watch his podcast. They, Lamar and Carl Tart recap an episode a week. They're watching it for the first time from the first episode through all the seasons. It's hilarious. It's fun. It's so, so good. And besides that, Lamar is also a musical artist. He's a super, super talented rapper, and he's really open-minded when it comes to music. So he's one of my friends that when I said I love K-pop, didn't like roll his eyes at me and actually wanted to have a conversation about it. Every time we see each other, we vibe on music. We talk about music. So when I was thinking about who am I bringing on for this first one, this is an important one in the world of K-pop, Stays vs. Moa. Lamar is who I wanted on the show to be the first special guest judge. So thank you so much for rolling with me and saying yes, even though you had no clue what I was talking about. Welcome to the show, Lamar. <laughs> Hey, what up, what up, Emily? How you doing? I feel so honored. What an intro. What a, what an intro. So much pressure. I feel no... <laughs> uh, but no, I am so happy to be here. I'm happy to uh, hear everyone's points of view and, <laughs> and whatever you need me to do, I'm, I'm down for it. I, it was great. <laughs> well, I was explaining to Lamar because he's not part of the K-pop fandom how fans get really intense and really ugly. There's a lot of fan wars happening. And fourth generation kings between a few groups has been really intense. T by T just had a release. Stray Kids have a new album coming out in a couple weeks. The fans go at each other the most brutal way. And for some of us, like me, I'm a multi. I like both groups. I like a lot of groups. And I hate seeing that because even though I might lean one way, I still love the other group's music. I still like them. I'm not rooting against them. So we're trying to build a segment where we could talk about our favorites without tearing the other people down. Quickly, we're going to go over the rules. No negative comments about the other fan. No negative comments about members on the other side. There's no tearing somebody down. There's no bringing up previous things. Let's keep it positive. Talk about why you love the group, what they mean to you. Okay. Before we get into this, Lamar, you watched mm. two music videos. And you listen yeah. to two songs. I asked each person to provide me with one music video and one song that they felt kind of best represents their favorite group. So right. for Stray Kids, the picks were God's Menu as the music video and Third Eye for the song. For T by T, the <laughs> music video was 0x1 equals love song. I know I love you. It's such a mouthful. Uh, and your song was Ghosting. I'm going to turn it over to Alyssa and Kyoko uh, and talk about why you picked this, everything. But first, before you kind of get into your segments, I'm going to have Kyoko go first for Stray Kids. When did you become a stan and who is your bias and your bias wrecker? Okay. So for me, um, I am actually a debut stay. I have been <sighs> Stray kids since the beginning. Yes. And uh yeah, they snatched me, I gotta oh. say. <laughs> wow. Uh my bias is actually uh which is my K-pop alt. It's Hanji song. 
And uh, actually, I have a whole list of biases in Stray Kids. So do I. As you'd expect, yeah. Yeah. And so on. And then uh, my list of biases is Chan, Lino, and Sungmin. And my bias records are the rest of the group, essentially. I'm the same. I'm the same way with Stray Kids. You guys watch the podcast and listen to me. You know, Hyunjin is my alt, but my bias record goes everywhere. It's too hard. Oh, and for <laughs> Lamar, just to let you know what we're talking about. Yeah, I, I got questions. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the hell y'all talking about. No, uh, what's the uh, day? But you said you're. Does that mean you're like a fastest day one? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Or is that what that means? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So cool. the the groups debut. It's a big deal when groups debut. Um, mm-hmm. That's the goal because you're a trainee for a number of years. Your goal is to get put into a group and debut. So yeah, oh, like to nice. be a fan from debut is huge. I got into Stray Kids in 2020 when I reviewed God's Menu. Um, yeah. So like debut fan, that's a day one. That's a huge honor in K-pop fandom. Oh, bias oh, yeah. and bi- like bias and bias record, that's your favorite. So that's like specific K-pop language. When I meet a fan, I go to these concerts by myself all the time. The first thing I do is turn and say, who's your bias? And you bond mm-hmm. talking about that. So that just means your favorite. And then Wrecker is who wrecks you, like your second favorite. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, that works okay. for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have that same relationship with Outcast. So. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You totally get it. Okay. okay. Alyssa, when did you get into T by T? Who's your bias in Wrecker? Um, I got into TXT, I want to say like, about two years ago it was at the end of my sophomore year in high school and i remember my seat partners in bio were like really into k-pop and i was like okay maybe i should start to get to know it and i saw good boy gone bad on the trending videos on youtube i was like i'll just watch it why not (laughs) and then i did and i really really liked it um and then my bias would it changes a lot in TXT, honestly. Between the three oldest members, I'm like switching back and forth. So I have to say right now it is Yunjun, and then Subin would probably be my record. I live for Subin. I live for him. <laughs> and I've actually been a debut T by T fan because I was ARMY. I was into BTS. When T by T came out, I was like cheering kind of for their little brothers. But I- I'm Subin day one. Oh, yeah. So, Lamar, T by T, Mm -hmm. they're on the same label as BTS. So, like, for all the BTS fans, when T by T came out, I think a lot of ARMY kind of, you know, migrated that way and they cheered for T by T. There's all this label politics as well. It really is, like, political parties. It's funny. (laughs) <laughs> you yeah. reference that i'm like this is all <laughs> making sense yeah it's like i feel like i'll i'll be like you i'm like i'm a i'm a moderate yeah no. yeah, I'm I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm a, yeah i'm like a van jones of <laughs> k-pop I, I don't know what i don't know what opinion to have about anything i like everybody <laughs> no that's perfect um, we need that we need the neutrals uh, so before we kind of break down i'm obviously dying to hear lamar's thoughts on the songs the music videos but it's time for you to talk about why you love this group. And the parameters are really wide. Whatever you both want to talk about, maximum two minutes each. But if you don't go two minutes, no pressure. Two minutes is actually long once you start doing these monologues. But two minutes maximum. And I'm going to go with, I'm switching up the order. Alyssa, tell us why TXT, T by T is your fave and they deserve to be loved. Yeah. Um, So for me, it really just comes down to the music, like their lyrics, just the sound of their music is most similar to what I listen to outside of K-pop. Like I was always a very pop bubblegummy type girl and I really love like happy EDM. (laughs) I don't know how else to say it, but I really just love their sound. And it was and also like their lyrics found me at a time when I wasn't like super happy. And so I had a lot of friend problems and txt like especially their lyrics really delve into like friendship and those relationships with like other people specifically and so i just like i remember can't you see me like that one hit like a gut punch like oh my god like i just remember listening to that song and like wow and ghosting the song that i had lamar listen to i don't know if that should be revealed <laughs> oh wait it was um <laughs> like that song is just like beautiful like it's just so like Ah, every time I listen to their music, I feel like I'm in like a teen movie. I'm like driving. I can't drive, but you know, I'm riding in a car and like the window is like going by. It just, it's just yeah, yeah, it was, like, yeah. That song is just like beautiful. Like it's just so like 
ah, every time I listen to their music, I feel like I'm in like a teen movie. I'm like driving, I can't drive, but you know, I'm riding in a car and like the nose, like going by. It's just it's that, that feeling, you know, of just being young and I don't know how else to describe it. That's it does does feel like youth. I know I'm not that old, but still. <laughs> yeah. It's a great description. Yeah, no, that all rings true to me. Um, thank you. Okay, Kyoko, your turn. Tell us about stray kids. Why are they the best? Okay, so for me, stray kids. It's also because of their music. Uh, I mean, they're artists, they're musicians. And I especially actually love the fact that they're self-produced because that shocked me at first. I was like, okay, <laughs> they <laughs> actually, uh, because they write, they've written like 100% of their discography. I found that really impressive and they produced like uh, 95 of it. And Something about that feels so genuine and honest and vulnerable that mm. I was like, yeah, this this is the group. And as it like at first, I was like, okay, they're still starting, they're still rookies. Uh, but then as it went on, they kept they kept proving what I had in mind about the group even more and more as the years went by. And their music is just so empowering overall, like. I just feel so energetic listening to them and I love their lyrics. They go, if they want to go deep, they go there. If they want to make a song just for fun, they also can do that. They have a whole range of, um, you know, like music genres that they juggle and like play around with. And I find that just so fascinating and something that I've never seen in K-pop myself. Um, yeah. As someone who has been uh, in K-pop and uh, a K-pop stand for 10 years now, yeah, I find them still till this day really amazing. So awesome. Awesome. Can I ask both of you, have you have you had the chance to see them live? Have you gone to the concert? Yes. What was that experience like? Aly Alyssa, what's a T by T concert like? Oh, it was a lot of fun. So I saw them in May at the Bank of California Stadium. And that was like an amazing show. Like I, I can't even describe. Like they are just really really great performers like i wouldn't say that they're super interactive with the crowd but mm. they're on stage to do one job they're there to perform and <laughs> they do that to like the max <laughs> like i'm not even like playing like like they are so professional and just everything was just so well produced and it was so much fun being with like other moas and yeah they were just amazing how about stray kids what are they like live Okay, so when I last saw them, it was at Music Bank in Paris uh, last April. And uh, even though I was from far away, because like for some reason, the VIP seats were like far away in the back, I actually enjoyed every bit of it. Not only the entire show, but specifically the Stray Kids part uh, when they went on stage. And it was phenomenal, to be honest. Like I already knew they had such a great stage presence to them. Yeah. But it got confirmed and they actually were hyping up uh, the crowd the most out of all of the groups that there were there that night. Yeah, it was crazy. How many times have you seen them? Have you guys seen them multiple times or just once? Okay. Uh, three times for me. <laughs> I Yeah, I saw them when they came to Germany uh, back in 2019 when they had their concert and also for... Uh, music bank germany back in the day yeah awesome do you are you fans of other groups are you multis or is this it is it only stray kids is only t by t whoever do wants to go first go ahead <laughs> Alyssa. Yeah. Uh, um i am a multi-fan i i like a lot of groups i also like stray kids i like i've i like um mm. i really like kepler too so yeah. those groups are all up there. Okay. What about you? Uh, I am actually, uh, I stand two groups now, okay. Stray Kids and P1 Harmony. I love P1 Harmony so much. I love I've them. I've been standing them for like a month now or so. I'm really a baby uh, piece, but yeah, uh, I, but I was an army, like back in the day, they got me into K-pop. And I was a diehard army for the longest time. 
and then yeah I switched to being a stay <laughs> it's it's the progression Arby's yeah. like Lamar Arby being an Arby being a BTS fan is the gateway drug for a lot of K-pop fans we right. all got okay. into it because of BTS and then you start listening to other groups because within K-pop there are a lot of different sounds. Even with these two groups, you probably recognize they're not like, it's not the same sound or the same vibe. Mm -hmm. right. So once you like get introduced to the genre, then you start picking groups kind of based on what you vibe with. Right, um, right. Let's talk about your opinions. Let's talk about your thoughts. I wanna talk about the music videos first. You have God's Menu from Stray Kids, and then you have Love Song, I Know I Love You, Zero X One equals Love Song, I Know I Love You from T by T. What are your thoughts? Let us know. I, well, you know, it was a, it was a late Sunday night. I had, you know, I, <laughs> I was uh, alone, uh, so I think that uh, I think the mood I was in affected how I, you know, heard these, heard these music. Okay. But I, I will say, um, uh, I would enjoy, and enj you know, obviously I, I'm a multi, probably I think, but I, uh, <laughs> I mean, I literally enjoyed both like pretty equally. But I will say, you know, I they they're very different. That was my first uh, reaction because I was like. Oh, like, just like what you just said, like, it reminded me of when I first got into jazz, I was like, oh, jazz has once it has a sound. But once I this once I got my gateway into it, I was able to sort of decipher like what I liked about it. And then seeing that was like, oh, wait, K-pop is a sort of a broader, a broader brand for like a lot of different sounds within it. So that was that was cool. And then I um, uh, the Stray Kids was just. You know, I, I was probably excited about that initially because they felt like they were rapping in it. And I was like, oh, yeah. this is like, uh, <laughs> this has, they have like a hip hop influence going on here. Uh, and then on uh, TXT, wh what does that stand for, by the way? I was curious. Tomorrow TXT. by Together. Okay. Um, that one, I was like really impressed with the songwriting and I, I, I uh, definitely felt the music a little more. Like I felt mm -hmm. a more an emotional connection to it. But uh, um, yeah, I was enjoying both. I listened again to the songs uh, this morning, and um, yeah, I, I I have I have a I have I have more to say, but I don't want to take up all the time. I'll let y'all talk too. But <laughs> oh, we uh, need to get your opinion on all this stuff okay. because those those um, music videos are both like the T by T music video is very cinematic, and it yeah. I think it captures what Alyssa was talking about, like the youth and this feeling that's hard to describe, mm -hmm. but they kind of put it into the music and into that music video very well. And then God's yeah. Menu, that was my introduction to Stray Kids. And I was mm -hmm. like, what the hell is this? These guys are popping off. This is crazy. But like, yeah. there's a, there's so much going on. And then you have um, some choreography that's a little bit interesting. What did you think? I'm not sure if this stood out to you or not, but there's somebody in Stray Kids that has a very low voice. Did you notice that when he came in in the God's Menu music video? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was cool. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I was like, I was like, what's good? What's up? I was like, what, what's up, man? <laughs> I was like, what's happening with you? <laughs> I see you. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I will say, you know, one of the videos had a moment where it did a break. It, it like broke out into like a scene. I, I thought that was really dope. Uh, was that was that TXT? I think maybe that was a TXT yeah. Video. It's T by it's T. But, um, mm -hmm. I, I will say just like style wise and swag wise, I was like all about straight kids. I was just like, yo, they was they was they just to me had the swag, and a, a lot yeah. of what Kyoko was saying made sense to me because it she was you know saying how like they been they write their own stuff. It seemed like they, it felt more original. Or it felt like more mm -hmm. like they were like they had they have a lot of say in what they're doing where uh which is ironic because TXT I probably liked more musically. Yeah. yeah. But I think that's because I'm not familiar with the genre and I was like, oh, this sounds like this sounds like 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 exactly what Alyssa said. It sounds like music that I've heard before. So I was like, mm -hmm. oh, this work this is this is my type of shit. I was already vibing <laughs> on it. So, you know, I like I literally I'm literally, you know, complimenting both. But like on one hand, I was like, oh, this is dope, but the song wise, I was kind of like, eh, I could do it out. But the other one, yeah. TXT, I was like, I was like more like, oh, I wasn't as interested in what they were doing necessarily as more just like musically. I was like, oh, I would, I like the way this makes me feel, you know, emotionally. <laughs> and I'm, no, I'm a sucker for like lo love songs and shit like that. So that makes total sense. That makes total sense. What about the songs? You have Third Eye from Stray Kids, and then you have Ghosting from T by T. And those are both completely different too. I think those, yeah. Ladies, those were great choices. Uh, what were your thoughts coming out of the songs? Um, I think like Third Eye was, uh, I don't know, something about Third Eye wasn't, oh, it was, 
I wasn't as feeling as much, but <laughs> I, I, hope, I don't want nobody to get mad at me. I was like, what the fuck? Like, really? Like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> uh, but Interesting. I, uh, I liked uh, um, I like ghosting. I like I, I thought that was, I thought that was a really great song. I thought like uh, it was just I don't know. I I'm, I'm into the lyric the lyrics like this. The songwriting was just uh, where my head was at. But okay. um, so that you know that's off like a couple of listens though. Like I probably have to listen again and like really. But that's what this is for. It's first impressions because for okay. all of us like. There's hundreds of music videos and songs and performances and reality shows and things that we've all watched and listened to. So we're so ingrained in it um, mm-hmm. that we have really strong opinions. This is to get a stranger's yeah. perspective. Which of these do you personally vibe with? Because it's based on the music you like and what, you, what you're what you into, not yeah. like all this other fandom stuff. It's just what you're into because there's no right or wrong answer. No one's going to get mad, I promise. Uh, <laughs> Man, if you have this- people coming after me, I'll- <laughs> well, no, but I, I mean, yeah, I liked everything. I, but I just, my honest assessment was like off top, you know, TXT was just jamming for me, I, like okay. musically. But I was just, but also just like as a band, I was just more impressed with uh, Stray Kids, just more like okay. from like as a collect as a whole, you know, that's that's where I land right there. But but I, but also their arguments were great. They, I feel like both. Uh, fans have really good points and but it kind of both of what they were saying kind of made sense to me based on what I had just heard what I had listened to yesterday so it kind of like like, even if you didn't tell me which one they were fans of and I kind of don't even remember (laughs) but just like off of the way they described it I like know I know which fan you know which fan is which just off how they describe the way they listen to it yeah um, you you get like you get why they love the music and it makes sense to you yeah Mm -hmm. that's you guys did such a good job. Our fan reps did such a good job communicating this. So if you, okay, if you have to choose, you have to choose a winner. They both vibe with you and there is no right Mm -hmm. or wrong. Obviously everyone watching, you all know, I love both of these groups. I ride hard, really hard for one, but I love them both. Um, It's time to pick a winner from the first ever fandom face-off. Stays versus Moa, Stray Kids versus T by T. You are the judge, Lamar. Who is the winner of this fan and face I I'm gonna base my answer not on like my experience with the music, just purely off of what the two fans just uh told me. Uh and I thought you guys did a great job. You guys are amazing fans. I wish you you guys check out my music so (laughs) and become fans of me. (laughs) And tell people about it. But I (laughs) um I uh I have to go with uh Alyssa. I just think the way she described it as the is sort of the way I listen to music. Like she set a scene when she went the way, like, <laughs> like just the way she made her, the music made her feel and like put her in, you know, like a car driving, you know, that feeling. Okay. And, I, think, and I, I felt exactly that way when I was listening to it. And I think that um, I think music that puts you in a place and in a, in a moment is like the most amazing thing in the world to me, even if you don't even know what they're saying or the lyrics. And it's like the fact that, I could connect with that on that. That being said, Kyoko did a great job. I feel, yes, I feel like, yes. I feel like you know, I feel like you know your shit. You know what I mean? And like, I she feel does. like, which makes me think, you know, I'm, if I come back in a month, I probably will understand why <laughs> you know, my strike is is the shit, and like why they're probably like the best band ever. So uh, that's just off the top, you know. Okay, I feel bad. Okay. I feel, feel bad. I can't do this. I I, I can't do this. I gotta get out. No. Of here. <laughs> First of all, thank you so much. Honestly, yeah. And congratulations, Alyssa. Congratulations, Moa and T by T. You both gave great arguments. And this is like, there's no right or wrong. It's, we all vibe to different stuff differently. But Lamar, yeah, you're going to have to come to a Stray Kids concert with me. It's okay. ridiculous. You're going to, he's going to be a stay by the end of all of this. <laughs> you're already a <laughs> Moa. Hey, which one is yours? Which one is your band, Emily? Are you allowed to say? The, the, the one, one I like? ride hard for? Yeah. I mean, they know because they've listened to me and watched me. Stray Kids mm-hmm. are my, like, alt of alts. Um, uh, okay. So when I reviewed them in 2020, I reviewed God's Menu. And I was like, this is exciting. And in the world of K-pop, I think what they do is a little bit different. And it's re- I think they're interesting. Um, to me, they're the most interesting group because yeah. they're doing it themselves and they bring a really different perspective. Their live performance, they interact with the crowd a lot. Like stray kids are friends and they goof around on stage and they vibe with the audience. There was a natural thing to them when I saw them live. I was impressed by 
and there's young in the game. They're, they haven't been doing this for that long. So that's exciting too. Uh, we should bring that mm-hmm. up. I'm, I apologize. I forgot to say that when we started, guys. But for people that don't know, and now we can tell Lamar. I didn't want to like talk about it too much, you know. Uh, Stray Kids, <laughs> eight-member boy group. They debuted on JYP in 2018. They were originally nine members. They lost a member. Um, and then T by T is a five-member boy group that debuted on Big Hit in, what was that, 2019? Yes, 2019. So these are younger groups in kind of the whole thing. And they've just both been killing it. I have to ask you from a Western perspective, do you think there's a difference between bigger groups and smaller groups? Because some of these groups, like 17, they have 13 people. There's groups that are huge. And I've heard from outside K-pop fans that it's hard for them to get into a group with so many members. Does that factor in with you, Lamar? Oh, not at all. Like, I mean, my favorite group is Wu Tang Clan. So, like, yeah. I, like I, I, don't, I don't care how many members are. If I if I'm into it, I'll figure it out. You know. <laughs> yeah, you have a favorite member. Who's your Who's your yeah. bias in Wu Tang? Who's your bias in Wu Tang? Oh, my bias. Oh, Ghostface Killer for sure. Yeah, I'm a okay. I, my bias. Ghostface Killer. What's the other thing? And I'm a I'm a debut. Record. I've been a fan. You're, oh yeah, <laughs> your debut fan. And then who's your record? Your second favorite. Oh, uh, my rucker is uh is is uh probably Jizza. Yeah, Jizza okay. the genius. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, all right, yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna do my own podcast with Wu Tang. But- <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's the same thing. And it's <laughs> it's wonderful to have you out here kind of listening to this because I think a lot of times we get unfairly judged as like um fangirls and you know, like teeny mm-hmm. boppers, but there's a lot of substance to the music and there's a lot of substance to all of this. And yeah. The community around it and everything, it's just like every everything else. It's just like other genres. It's just like other things that people are passionate about, like sports. You cheer mm-hmm. for a team. We cheer yeah. for our favorites. We ride hard for Stray Kids and for T by T. It's so similar. And I love having these conversations and opening the conversations to people that maybe aren't into K-pop just to kind of show everyone, you know, we can, we can all vibe with something. It doesn't have to be your genre and I really appreciate you coming on, Lamar, and being so respectful and open-minded to this. Because, like, oh, you thanks know. for having me. I, I feel honored to yeah. be a part of this. Yeah, no, I, I, I really ever. was into it. It was not. It was not hard work at all. It's like I was like, this okay. is great. Yeah. I was like, yeah. <laughs> but now, like, you know personally, you're screwed because I'm going to bother you about this stuff now all the time. Make you go to concerts. With me, I don't like. know. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're going to be yeah. in these gangs now. You're you're staying a moa moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. Um, before we before we leave, I have to say a massive thank you to both of you, Alyssa Kyoko. Thank you so much for coming on the show and for being amazing representatives for your fandoms like that. I was so worried when I came up with this idea that we couldn't kind of keep it above the line and be positive and friendly and civil. And this has just been a great conversation. Is there any kind of like closing argument or anything you want to say about your group or just about the experience before we leave? It's like really fun. Like I always love talking about K-pop, like any chance I can get. And it was just really great to have like a super civil conversation. And that's that's (laughs) nice. That's all I can say. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you. you for the opportunity emily uh i hope i mean i will watch when you get other fandoms on the show for uh other face off uh that would be interesting but yeah thank you so much and uh i hope lamar becomes a stay in a month like you said <laughs> and he's going to he's going to you open to the door oh, yeah. and i will be pushing it moving forward um All there's right. also going to be opportunities for a rematch. I'm hoping that this segment will continue and we will have opportunities down the line because there's so much more to share um, that it's hard to just pick. It's so hard to pick one song or one music video. So we will have opportunities down the line. If you ever want to do this again, you're both invited back. Of course, Lamar, obviously you're invited back. This was amazing. And you guys, Lamar is super, super talented rapper. Honestly, he's joking. But he's amazing. So you have to go listen to him. Show him some love. He has a new project coming out. I believe it's February, right, Lamar? Is that kind yeah, of target? Yeah, uh, okay. February, right on uh, Valentine's Day, we dropped. Uh, it's, high, it's called Highly Sensitive Person. Uh, it's yeah. It is, I just I go by Lamar Wood, so you can find it on all digital platforms. But also, I have other music out too if you want to check it out. Yeah, it's amazing. Music lovers, let's crush genres here. Stay and Moa are going to be your fan. Do you have a fandom name, Lamar? Uh, for people who are fans of me, 
Yes. Oh, uh, oh shit. I don't, I mean, it's, uh, may, I don't know. Call it maybe the uh, Marmar Gang. I don't know. Marmar <laughs> Gang. <laughs> okay. okay. Or like the yeah. yeah, like the Marvins or something. The Marmar Marvins. Marvins. I don't know. Let me think about it. Yeah, the Marvins. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll think about it. I'll keep everybody updated, but I think you gained two new Marvins or Marmar gangs. Um, okay. So thank cool. you all so, so much for being here. This was amazing. First fandom face off. T by T is the winner. Stay tuned for round two. Thank you guys. <laughs>